Is it recording? Sweet. Okay, never everything. Oh, Alexa, turn on studio lights. It's better. Um, how do I move this? <clears throat> oh, that was sex. <coughs> oh, um, Doritos. It's better. Sweet. Is that better? Say so. Um, is that recording? I think I'm set up. Am I? <sighs> Get a Pepsi. <coughs> Here we are. Got Pepsi. Could I open it with my teeth? Because uh, I ain't got no nails. Thirsty, man. <coughs> oh my god. Oh, that is really loud. I'm gonna turn it off for now. <sighs> I'm talking about the aircon. Hey, look, I'll show you. Aircon. I need to turn it off because I don't want it interrupting my video. Right, I got the energy set up. Right, so you're back again. Yeah, you're back here again. You just watched me all do the, all that setting up. Desperate for help, are ya? You want a wall run? Wall run? Wall run? Wall run, run? Yeah? You want a wall run? Yeah? All right. Basically, what you do is you get your wall, you get your person, you go about 90 degrees. And then you go up. It's as simple as that. Why don't you know how to do it? Gorilla tag. Right, that monkey game. In gorilla tag, people think that you need 60 hertz for wall running. You don't, you can use any hertz you want. But the thing is that 60 hertz only helps you wall run. I'm gonna be teaching you how to do 60 hertz today and like get it and stuff on your phone and on your computer as well. So, um, but before I do that, I wanna show you in game 120 hertz versus 90 versus 72 versus 60 hertz, right? I'm gonna show you all of that and then I'm gonna explain how to get 60 hertz, all right? So, little simple, simple intro. I'm just gonna teach you how to wall run on 20, 90, 72, and 60. And then I'm gonna teach you how to get different hertz as well. And then also I'm gonna give you some recording settings as well because that's also, that's involved with it. So if you wanna make videos, then make videos, you know? Okay, so. Now, what you want to do, you want to make your way from stomp and you want to make your way over to here. And over here is the wall that we're going to be working on. This wall is the main wall that I like to use. You can also use that one to help your wall run, but that's for next video. So this wall, how you wall run, what you want to try and do first is just bounce off the wall simple like that, right? Or just even bounce off the wall like that. You're going to start by pushing it. And if you see yourself bounce off like this, you're doing it right. And then you're going to start going down more. You're going to see you're jumping further and then you go down more. So you push and you go down a bit. Both of them in, in, in same time, you go up like that. And then the more you do it, the more down you get, you start going higher and you start getting less. You, you start getting towards the wall as you come down. That one was a far one and that's the furthest one you can get. So, and then once you do that, you'll notice that you're going to start actually going up the wall a lot more than you're actually pushing off. So earlier we was doing that, we started getting more and more <coughs> going down. And then we start going up and then we land here. But now what you want to do is you want to land back on the wall. So you want to go up the wall and land back on the wall. Then you go up again and that's how you do it. So you do three, one, two, three. One, two, three. So once you can do three, then, oh, that's perfect. You can just start going forward. And how you do that is you push down and back and a little bit off like that. So you're going to do that. Uh, you're gonna go forward as well and you're also gonna jump up so this is up this is off and this is forward so now just try going up and forward but yeah as you can see what i'm doing is my arm is going from up here to about down here turn it into circles more like that instead of just going straight down the whole time because if you're going down the whole time might not always work as you can see. So if you start doing circles and actually controlling yourself on the wall, you'll start to go up it. As you can see there, I went really far up the wall. So do little circles on it. And you always try and touch the wall. As you can see, I'm even leaning into the wall because I'm starting to fall off. So if you want, you can do that. Down, 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 down. And then that's it really. I'm actually a wall main myself, so I main going on the walls. I've practiced every single setting, as in the refresh rate on the walls, and I've mastered it, I think, because I've learned how to go up it really quickly, like with the hurts that I'm on. 120 is so slippery. But if you can still do stuff on it, I've actually learned that some things on the wall can be a lot easier on 120 than 60. Well, that on higher hertz, I mean. But the thing is, is that we're not learning wall climbing. If you want to practice it differently, you can come this way and you can try and make your way up to that branch. So come up here, go turn around. You're going to jump to here, come up here, jump on this lamp, jump on the branch. And now you see you've got yourself on your branch. What you can do is you're not going that way, you're going that way. So simply, you're just going to jump onto the wall here and you're going to move yourself forward and round. And then once you make, you make it to here, good. You're going to do it again and again and again. And you're going to try and see if you can stay up high as well. If you start going down, that's not a bad thing. If you start going down here, not a bad thing at all. Use this, maybe, if you can, that is. And then that's it. 
you back up and keep practicing this because this is one of your main route routes that you're going to do when you're on the walls you're always going to come over here and then once you're on stump you can try and do left-handed as well and go this way with your left hand and that's that really as simple as that you can learn wall running nice and easy if this video doesn't if this if what i'm telling you doesn't work for you i don't know what else to say but it is all about the settings as well and your own preferences you don't have to always use 120 because 120 is for the ice map mainly and that's also another video that we're doing i'm going to teach you ice map so because my, my me myself i play on all maps i just record in forest because i know that everyone prefers it but i can do other map videos now i'm going to show you the comparison between 120 90 72 and 60 so now we're going to go on to we're going to go on to 90 hertz i mean i'm going to show you a couple things that i can do on the wall with 120 i'm going to start with going up up it quickly like this it's a bit hard because of the high hertz as you can see i'm quite bad at it so now i'm going to show you 90 which is what i prefer and i'm on 90 hertz this time so this is 90 hertz when you're going up the wall see for me it's a bit easier and you can also go quicker with your hand as well. 90 is actually one of my personal favorites. I go on it every so often and I don't use it just for branching. 90 is actually the default on Oculus Quest 2. On Oculus 1, 72 is the default because it's only got 60 and 72 hertz anyway because it's bad and also the tracking is bad. So, so with 90 hertz, it is easier to go on the walls. And as you can see, I went up it really quickly and I done that with my hand, right? Don't have to do that with your hand. You can just, you know, so. Same thing, same thing. Do the same thing with like I did with uh, 120, except it's gonna be much easier and much quicker going up this wall. Because the thing is, the lower the hertz that you go, the more that your hands in game start to move more in game than what your hands are in real life. With 90 hertz, you can't actually tell yet. You will be able to tell when I go on to 60. So yeah. So we're going up this wall on 90. It's the exact same, except what you can try and do is start doing circles like that that are quick. Those weren't exactly circles actually, I noticed that they are actually more of like that, right? And then you can, you can just go up it like that, nice and quick. You know? And that's that for 90. So yeah, now I'm gonna go on to 72. Okay, so now I'm on 72 and we're gonna go to the same wall. As you can see, in real life, I'm just doing my wrist like that, but really quickly, and then my hand moves a lot more. Weird. As you can see, I can now do it quicker. And I can go up faster too. So that's good. Also, my vertical, which is just straight going up like that, which is what I've been teaching you. <coughs> I look down for it and then just absolutely mash my hand down, down. And then I just start going up. It looks really weird, I know. But I prefer it and it also allows me to go up smoothly as well. So my head doesn't super shake. <laughs> because in my old videos, my head used to go like this. <laughs> you know, I've been going up walls, but now it doesn't. So, yes, I'm a 60 hertz player, so 72 isn't my normal. But if you want a vertical, if you want to go up quickly, what you can do is you can just push your hand down like that with your wrist, and then you go up really fast. This is a really immature thing to say, but literally, this is actually how this works. You jerk off in game really quickly, you know, set you go up the wall by jerking off. It's weird, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Don't have to jerk off like this. You can move your hand here and then go up and down. <laughs> Oh, you got the wall. But yeah, there you go. Now I'm going to go on to 60, which is my favorite. And I'm going to show you what I can do on that with the walls. And I can show you that I can go straight up. And yeah, because I'm a 60 hertz player. I like doing walls. I like doing branches. I, I do everything on 60 hertz. I've gotten used to it. I've been playing on it for almost two years now. So 60 hertz. See that? That's insane. So now we're on my normal hertz. And this, I love 60 hertz, man. You can do everything on it. Here's my wall run. I didn't get to the top. That was first try. Didn't get to the top then either. I even look up sometimes when I do it because then it allows me to know exactly where I'm going to. Some people in this game, they think that vertical, if you can do a really good vertical, boom, you're, you're cracked at the game. It's not how it works. It's not about just going up the wall all the time. It's about your actual wall control. So you go up the wall, yeah. Once you're up the wall, if you're a wall player and you think you're a wall player, well, you should be able to do your wall control. Like going down up people down down up down down left right really quickly different ways of wall running you know quick wall climbing stuff like that and then you should also be able to like pinch climb and stuff away and that's how you know that you're a good wall player it's not always about the vertical you need to know everything else as well but that's just comp people they all think oh my god i can do it really good going up the wall that means i'm a wall player and i'm top one walls no 
Vertical might be impressive, but I can't even vert properly. That's because I do everything else on the wall instead of just practice verts all day. This is a vert. I do everything else. So yeah, that's it with 60. Just the same as 72. You can proper go fast with this. Just jerk off on the wall and you make your way up. I've also noticed that this wall, for some reason, it's really easy to go up and grab onto that, that branch there when you're running away from people. You see, also people be asking me how to do this. You need to know how to vert. This is impressive and all, but the thing is, I only do it to impress people because it's a small space that I'm going up. You need to also be able to go up this. People find it impressive going up this. And I know that because I get asked all the time to do it, right? With 60 hertz, 60 hertz, different hertz, different ways of wall running and stuff. It's all amazing. And this video was me teaching you how to wall climb and become the best at walls that you possibly can. This, In this video, it was me teaching you how to wall run. And that was it really. So I taught you how to go different ways, left hand method up there. You can do it on all walls if you want. And then once you've, once you think that you can wall run well, uh, what you should do is you should go to this or you can start anywhere and you will wall run the whole map like this. I'm not trying very hard, I'm just doing an example. I always messed up here, it's okay. People mess up on this part too. It's okay, just do that. And that's it. Once you think you can all run well, test yourself going around the map. And also test yourself. You want to learn to vertical? Yep. Just simple. Come here. Go up to this branch. Once you think you can do it properly, up there loads of times. Go up this one. Yeah, I can't even do that all the time. See? And that's it. So, now I'm going to bring you to the outro of me doing the conclusion and talking that. Bye-bye. Forgot what this wire is called, but it's got the same wire on both ends. Very simple. I got it for like five euros, I think, not even five, like <clears throat> like three euros in Cyprus when I when I went to my nan's house, the grandma's beach house, where I bought this. And then my dad started telling me about doing it all on the phone. But then when I came back here, I was still doing it on the phone, but then I was like, oh wait, I've got a PC, I might as well just do it on my PC. So I carried on doing it on my PC and I'm loading no over there, but you know? Here's the phone, here's the phone. And on the phone, before you do anything, you gotta make sure you got developer mode on on SideQuest, right? So this is what it looks like. Right, so. You need to go to the MetaQuest app. You need to go to your Meta app, MetaQuest. Right, enable Bluetooth at the bottom, yeah. Once you've done that, to go to your menu, which is here. It's focusing, all right? I think it is, I'll just show another. Once you've done that, go onto devices and then let it connect. Now that it says it's connected, you need to go to headset setting. You need to go to developer mode. And if that's not on, to make sure that that's on. If not, it will take you to a, to a Google browser thing and it will make you do it. And long story short, it's not even a long story, actually. It's really easy. People think it's hard, but it's easy. You can use your parents' phone for this, too. So you just need to be logged into the Oculus that you're on, as in the Oculus account. Once you open that developer mode thing, it'll tell you to create an organization, and then you need to verify your phone number. Hey, create an organization. It's all there. The steps are there. Create an organization. You make it yourself new, and that's it. You're done. You're done with that part. And then you need to verify your phone number. And how you do that, you literally just type in a phone number. It sends you a message. You put in the code, and boom. <coughs> it sends you a code and then you put in the code, and then boom, that's it, you've got developer mode. Once you've got developer mode, then you can turn it on. And the exact same way that I did, you go back to that developer mode bit, and instead of it making open a Google thing, it'll actually be a switch and you just turn it on. Once you've done that, get your headset. Here's the headset. Here's my phone, right? I've got my phone and my headset. What you do is, you plug this wire here. See this here? Plug it into this, see this here? Plug it into this hole here. Once you've done that, you grab your phone, and then for me, it would normally open SideQuest. Is my headset on? You need to download SideQuest on your phone. But then it would open SideQuest for me. Just click here, to tools. Once you're at, to look. So you'll be here, you go to tools. I mean the bottom right. And you go to tools here, and then you just scroll down. Uh, turn on full capture rate, by the way. You go down, you click on the 60 hertz option here to get 60 hertz. You've also got 72, 90, 120. But 60 is the best option for me. <coughs> and then that's literally it. That's all you need to Oh, sorry, before you do that, when you plug your phone into the headset, there'll be a thing, a prompt in your headset telling you, will you allow file change in this computer and stuff? Click on allow. It means from your phone, not your, your phone. Just click allow. And then you'll be able to do stuff. It should tell you that it's there, to be honest. And a little butterfly. 
Right, so that was nice and easy. I'm going to show you how to do it on your PC now. Turn on your PC. Once you've turned on your PC, you sit down. And once you've done all that, you see that this screen comes up and it's telling you to subscribe. So maybe you actually should click that there. Right, so you want to go on to your Google. What you want to do first is you want to go to my YouTube and then you want to hit the subscribe button somewhere over here. So please click it. Once you're on Google, I'm going to type side quest download and then you grab, you grab, get, you click on this, get side quest and the advanced version is this one. Advanced, click download for Windows. Once you've done that, you do that, you run it and stuff and that's it. Once you do that, you should have side quest. Here it is. And then you see this, it says not detected. So what you want to do there is you want to come down to your PC. You want to grab your headset again. You want to grab your headset. Once you've got your headset, plug it into your PC. You grab a wire as well, unplug that, and then you plug this into here. And you'll hear a funny sound because... And then once you've done that, plugged in, there'll be a prompt, but it's not actually there for me right now. But for you, there will be a prompt saying to allow. You just go in your headset and click allow, simple. And then once you've clicked allow, up here actually, it will tell you to click allow. But now, as you can see, it is working and it's all done and dust. It's all on. It's on side quest. You're perfect. Now, once you've done that, you want to come up to here, you click on this. After you click on that, you'll have this. Scroll down, you click 60, 72, 90, 120. Preferably for wall running, it's 60. So yeah, and that's all you need to do. You literally just do the 60 hertz and you're done.